Let's start with Mercury, the smallest planet and the closest to the Sun. Mercury is only about 3,800 miles in diameter, roughly the size of Earth's moon. Mercury orbits the Sun in just 88 days. That's the fastest orbit of any planet, which is why the Romans named it after the messenger god. But here's where Mercury gets interesting. One day on Mercury lasts 176 Earth days. That means one full day, sunrise to sunset, is longer than Mercury's entire year. If you lived on Mercury, you'd age twice a year before you'd see another sunrise. The surface temperature ranges from 800 degrees Fahrenheit on the sun-facing side to minus 290 degrees on the dark side. That's a 1,090 degree difference, more extreme than any other planet in the solar system. Mercury has virtually no atmosphere, so there's nothing to distribute heat. One side boils while the other freezes. The surface is heavily cratered from billions of years of asteroid impacts. NASA's messenger probe studied Mercury extensively and found these impact craters everywhere. Now let's move to the second planet, Venus. Venus is almost Earth's twin in size, but that's where the similarities completely stop. Venus has the hottest surface temperature of any planet, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead, and it's even hotter than Mercury's daytime side despite being farther from the sun. Why? Because Venus has an extreme greenhouse effect. Venus's atmosphere is 97% carbon dioxide with thick clouds of sulfuric acid. These clouds trap heat so efficiently that the planet's surface is completely uninhabitable. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times stronger than Earth's pressure, equivalent to being 3,000 feet underwater. Venus also rotates backwards compared to most planets and extremely slowly. One day on Venus is 243 Earth days, while its year is only 225 days. So a day on Venus is longer than its year, similar to Mercury. Venus is basically what happens when a greenhouse effect spirals completely out of control. It's a warning about what can happen to any planet if its atmosphere becomes too thick. Moving on to the third planet, our home, Earth. Earth is the only known planet in the universe with life. We sit in the perfect spot, the habitable zone where liquid water can exist on the surface. Our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. This atmosphere maintains an average temperature of about 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which supports all life as we know it. Earth has one moon, which stabilizes our axial tilt and keeps our climate relatively stable. This stability is one of the key reasons Earth is habitable. Our surface is 71% water. We're the water planet. Compared to every other planet in the solar system, Earth is an oasis. Don't break it. Now the fourth planet, Mars. Mars is about half Earth's size and appears red because of iron oxide, rust, covering its surface. This rust creates fine dust particles that give Mars its distinctive color. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, named after Greek gods of fear and panic. The atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide, but extremely thin, only 1% of Earth's pressure. Surface temperatures average minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Mars has the largest volcano in the entire solar system, Olympus Mons. It's so massive that if you stood at the base, you couldn't see the summit because of Mars's curvature. Mars also has Valles Marineris, a canyon system that dwarfs Earth's Grand Canyon. We're talking valleys four miles deep and 2,500 miles long. Scientists have found evidence that Mars once had liquid water on its surface. Billions of years ago, Mars may have had rivers, lakes, and possibly oceans. But Mars lost its magnetic field and solar wind stripped away most of its atmosphere. Today, Mars is frozen and barren, but ice remains in the polar caps. Evidence suggests subsurface water exists beneath the surface. This is why NASA and SpaceX are focused on Mars exploration and eventual human colonization. Now we're moving to the gas giants, starting with Jupiter. Jupiter is massive. You could fit 1,300 Earths inside it. Jupiter is made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium with no solid surface. It's just layers of gas with increasing pressure and temperature as you descend. Jupiter's most recognizable feature is the Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth itself. This storm has been raging for at least 350 years, possibly longer. Wind speeds in this storm exceed 430 miles per hour. Jupiter's overall wind speeds reach 360 miles per hour or more. Jupiter rotates incredibly fast. 
one day lasts only 10 hours. Because of this rapid rotation, Jupiter is flattened at the poles and bulges at the equator. Jupiter has at least 95 known moons, more than any other planet. The four largest are called the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Io is the most volcanically active place in the entire solar system. Its surface is constantly changing due to volcanic activity. Europa is covered in ice and may harbor a subsurface ocean. If that ocean exists, it could potentially contain life. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, bigger than Mercury, and Callisto is an ancient, heavily cratered world. Jupiter has a faint ring system, though it's not as visible as Saturn's. Jupiter's magnetic field is 14 times stronger than Earth's, creating intense radiation belts around the planet. Moving to Saturn, the sixth planet and perhaps the most visually stunning, Saturn is the second largest planet, with a diameter of about 74,000 miles. You could fit about 760 Earths inside Saturn. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant made primarily of hydrogen and helium. Saturn's most famous feature, its spectacular ring system. These rings span 140,000 miles, but are only about 100 meters thick. The rings are made of billions of particles of ice and rock, ranging from dust-sized to house-sized. Scientists still debate how these rings formed, whether they're ancient or relatively recent. Saturn has at least 146 known moons, the most of any planet. The largest is Titan, which is larger than the planet Mercury. Titan is unique because it has a thick atmosphere, the only moon in the solar system with one. Titan has liquid methane and ethane lakes on its surface. The temperature on Titan is minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Another interesting Saturn moon is Enceladus, which has geysers of water erupting from its surface. These geysers indicate a subsurface ocean, making Enceladus another candidate for potential microbial life. Saturn's density is so low that it would float in water, the only planet that could. Saturn is basically the solar system's beach ball. Next is Uranus, the seventh planet and the ice giant with an unusual orientation. One unique characteristic? Uranus rotates on its side. Its axial tilt exceeds 90 degrees. Scientists believe a massive collision early in solar system history knocked Uranus over. This extreme tilt means Uranus experiences extreme seasons. For 42 years, one pole receives constant sunlight. Then, for the next 42 years, it's in total darkness. The atmosphere is primarily water, methane, and ammonia ice. The methane gives Uranus its blue-green color, as it absorbs red light and reflects blue wavelengths. Uranus is incredibly cold, with temperatures reaching minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. It's even colder than Neptune in some places, despite being closer to the sun. Wind speeds on Uranus can exceed 560 miles per hour. Uranus has 27 known moons and a faint ring system. The rings are much fainter than Saturn's and difficult to observe from Earth. One notable moon is Miranda, which appears shattered and reassembled multiple times. Scientists theorize it was broken apart by collisions and gravity reassembled it. Uranus has been largely ignored by space missions. Only Voyager 2 visited in 1986. Finally, we reach Neptune, the eighth and outermost planet. Neptune is 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth. Light from the Sun takes over four hours to reach Neptune. Neptune is an ice giant, like Uranus, composed of water, methane, and ammonia ices. The methane gives Neptune its striking deep blue color. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. Wind speeds exceed 1,200 miles per hour, nine times stronger than Earth's strongest hurricanes. Despite receiving minimal energy from the distant sun, these winds drive clouds and storm systems across the planet. Neptune displays dynamic weather patterns with large storm systems appearing and disappearing. Neptune's most famous storm was the Great Dark Spot, observed during Voyager 2's 1989 flyby. But when the Hubble Space Telescope looked at Neptune later, the Great Dark Spot had vanished. Neptune has 16 confirmed moons, with Triton being the largest and most interesting. Triton orbits Neptune backwards, a retrograde orbit suggesting it was captured from the Kuiper Belt. Triton has nitrogen geysers erupting from its surface. The temperature on Triton is minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than Pluto. Neptune takes 165 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Neptune has not completed a full orbit since its discovery in 1846. 
Like Uranus, Neptune has been largely unexplored. Voyager 2 remains the only spacecraft to visit. So there you have it. Eight planets, each one absolutely extreme in its own way. Mercury, with its 176-day rotations and 1,090-degree temperature swings. Venus, with its molten surface and crushing atmospheric pressure. Earth, with its liquid water and thriving life. Mars, with its giant volcanoes and evidence of ancient water. Jupiter, with its massive storms and 95 moons. Saturn, with its stunning rings and geologically diverse moons. Uranus spinning sideways with extreme seasonal variations. And Neptune, the windiest world, so far away that it hasn't completed even one full orbit since we discovered it. These eight worlds prove that planets can be as wild and deadly as they are fascinating. Every single one would end you in a completely different way. But each is scientifically spectacular. Subscribe now for more strange and mind-blowing discoveries about our universe. And tell me, which planet freaked you out the most?